circumcision. Just to be clear what we're talking about here, this is the procedure performed on a baby soon after it's born where some doctors go in and cut a little piece of skin off of the baby's penis. This is a part that protects the head of the baby's penis. So I've been thinking about this and I'm thinking, okay, when a baby's born, out of every part of the baby's body, they want to go and cut a piece off the baby's penis? I mean, couldn't you cut something off somewhere else? I mean, is that really necessary? You know, that's like, it just seems like kind of a waste, you know? Because the baby's just got a little cock already, you know? A little, a little cock. <laughs> and you're gonna go and like chop off like it's like little red things on top? That, that doesn't make any sense, you know? They don't even cut off the damn baby's umbilical cord. They just tie that shit in a knot and wait till it falls off. So, you know, if it doesn't fall off, I don't think it should be cutting it off. There are arguments on both sides, people who are for circumcision and people who are against it. Um, the people who are for it, uh, they, they give you arguments like, um, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's more attractive looking after you cut off some extra skin and um, it's actually cleaner you can you know you can keep it cleaner and uh, it's less maintenance you don't have to take care of it as much it just kinda you know just let it let it be people on the opposite side of the argument um, would tell you things uh, that they happen to know because there, there have been studies on this and um, one uh, fact that has come out is that in fact if you are not circumcised people who are not their penis tends to be bigger yes that's right not only because of the extra length from the extra piece of skin there but also that extra skin actually weighs the thing down somewhat and throughout your whole lifetime will extend the length on average it'll be bigger another thing is that um, people who are not circumcised uh, this has been studied also they tend to uh, last a little longer in bed because a circumcised penis is it removes the skin from the most sensitive part of the penis and those people you know and feel more intense pleasure because they don't have that the part covering you know their sensitive parts so they tend to splooge faster I think that's what the doctors technically said um, think about it like a woman if a woman didn't have her little skin covering her little button you know so just to sum it all up when you're a baby you, you don't really have too much to begin with let's let's say that's you right there you know when you're a baby just a little just a little thing and if that's if that's you now I'm sorry but I mean you have a baby penis I'm just yeah so that's you when you're a baby not too much to begin with and then these doctors and their genius ideas you know they come up and they say hey you want to get circumcised and then they turn this into that you didn't have much to begin with now you got that and they wonder why babies cry all the time I mean you'd be crying too they, they like chopped you in half that's like that's nothing man poor babies People circumcise their children for all kinds of strange reasons. I think the strangest I've heard was that they do it so masturbation would be less pleasurable. 
so they wouldn't do it as much. Hmm. Also, you gotta be suspicious about what they do with those baby foreskins, you know, after they cut them off. You never know, man. They could be doing some weird shit with that. I don't trust them to be taking a piece of my baby's penis. Tell you what. Plus, there could be some, like, advanced medical shit they could figure out with that. Like, they could find out it, it cures, like, epilepsy or something. Yeah. There are a lot of reasons why people circumcise their children. But there's not really one good one. There's not a strong reason that you can point to and say, you know, for that reason alone, I think we should continue doing this. So I think maybe we should rethink this whole thing. In fact, I think we should end this barbaric fucking act of taking a little helpless baby and putting it on a table and then taking a very, very sharp knife and cutting a piece of 